Bethany. Can anybody guess where I am? You've probably never seen this place before, but I'll give you a hint. I'm giving you a hint. Anybody know? Okay, so where we are today is in Jane Ann Fleming Artist Extraordinaire's Workshop at Home. This is a first hand look at all of her goody goods. So, this is where the magic happens. So, everybody should have out in front of them their um, bag that has your canvas that's going to look just like this. You should have your paint pot. Jane said if you have a little white at home, you may want to grab that. Um, but if you don't, no worries. You can make do with what you have. You have your Sharpie, your water cups. You want to get a cup of water, something to blot it with, and your brush. Okay, Jane needs her glasses. So if you need glasses, go ahead and uh, get those ready. Okay, today we're going to work on our funky fish. So here are some samples. That one's mine. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so we're, remember we're gonna take it. You can rewind it if you need to, take it at your own speed. So Ellie Grace is here to paint with Jane so she uh, can know how fast or how slow she needs to go. So take it away, Jane. All right, everybody has their canvas in front of them. So what I would like for you to do is, you could do it like that, but I prefer to do the fins, the multiple fins on the top. You see fins that? Up. Fins, fins up, fins up. One fin down, three fins up. Everybody should have three fins. So uh, lay it down on your table. Make sure your table's covered with some plastic or uh, paper bag or something. And so what we did over here, you can do it two ways. You can paint the entire fish one color, like Miss Kelly did. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's, it's okay, like that, right there. Or you can do your colors separately, don't do that. like that. <laughs> do this, model. Don't do this. <laughs> do this. Or this. Everybody this. just do the way that they are feeling it. So, <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the fin. And... You can do the fan any color you want to, but I'm gonna choose yellow. So I just, I'm gonna go with the outline of the fans and come on in here with the line on the fish, okay? If you get outside the lines, it's okay because we're gonna cover that up. So do the top fans and then the bottom fan, okay? And I think I wanna go ahead and bake my tail yellow as well. So just kind of outline it. Does it have um, to be perfect? Oh, absolutely not. So if you want to go back and erase the pencil mark, you can when it's all dry. But if not, just paint right over it. That's what I'm doing. You can go a little bit over the oh, yeah. So I'm going to give y'all time to complete that part of the fish. Now we're back. You should have your fin and your tail done. All right, All right. Jane, what's the Wash next step? Wash your brush out if you want to. You don't have to. All right, I'm going to, I think the front of my fish head, I'm gonna start there is going to be red. So I'm just going to put a little, I'm going to do a half moon type thing there and then just go with your pencil marks, come in and just fill all that in. All right, do you see what I did? I started right up here and I just curved it down. What I'm going to do is come back up here and I'm going to make another Stripe. I'm going to do two stripes. Okay. Look at Ellie Grace's. She's going to do hers yellow. That's going to look great, Ellie Grace. Thank you. Okay, so you're just filling in right there. Yeah. Just 
is gonna fill in. Now, if they don't wanna go all the way to the tip, could they just have done three stripes or? Sure, yeah, it's whatever you wanna do. You can do, if you wanted to, you could just fill that in red, that in green, that in blue, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back and do some stripes on top of that, or we're gonna do some polka dots. Mm -hmm. So you have many options, just like the sample fish are all different. What we're gonna do when we get finished with the fish is we're gonna outline it with our paint pen. So if you're or not, Sharpie for you guys I'm who sorry, have Sharpies. Yeah. Maybe. You're Sharpie, you're black Sharpie. Uh, so just if you're add outside some crispness, of, just that's right. If you're outside the line, it, it's fine because you're gonna cover it up with your Sharpie, your black Sharpie. All right, Ellie Grace, that's looking good. Thank you. All right, so I have navy that I have not used. I'm gonna come in in between my red with the navy. Just a couple of swipes. What do you think? Love that. So all this down here, you don't have to worry about because we're going to make it all cohesive with the pen. We're going to pull it all together. That's right. So right now your fish, if it's not, get to a point where it's the middle part is done, the fins, the tail, however, des however designs, whatever designs you want on it, go ahead and take the time to do that. Ellie Grace has done some polka dots and some stripes, some different color blocking. Jane's done stripes and color blocking as well. You could do one, the middle one solid color and come back on top of it. Okay, so we'll come right back and keep working on some details. Back, we have it dry a little bit. Remember I said earlier, if you had white paint and you wanted to use that, Jane said, here's where you're gonna need it. If you don't have white paint, use your yellow. I'm gonna take just a little bit of white with that same brush. You don't have to change your brushes out. And I'm gonna just do some polka dots in my green. And how, explain to him how you do a polka dot. You just I put, that put it down, down. And I twirl my brush. Down and twist. Down and twist. Down. Kelly says twist, I say twirl. Twist, twirl, potato, yeah. potato. Yeah. So they don't have to be all even, just random. And I think I'm going to do the same thing on the fin in the back, but I'm going to do big ones. Oh. So just Love that. do two big ones here, maybe another size. They don't all have to be perfect. Look at there. Okay. Fun. Fun and funky fish. Fun and funky. So I'm thinking... And I have to think about it. I have to kind of feel it. But I'm going to drag just a little bit of this white through the blue. Kind of change. Change the look of it just a little bit. You now, go. you could also, if you wanted to do red and make purple stripes, remember all your lessons from school, right? So, red and yellow make orange. Red and blue make purple. And what's... The other one I'm missing. Oh, yellow and blue make green, but we have green, so. Okay. All right, looks good. All right, so we've got to do the eyeball. So I'm gonna wash my brush out. And I'm gonna do my eyeball with a paint pen. So if theirs is super, super wet, is the eyeball something they can do at the very end Absolutely. if they have to? I would suggest doing that even. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to do that. Yes. So if you put a lot of paint on, or if you've 
do like a little oval eyeball. Fill it in. Actually, this is more like an egg. Okay, they're super cute. So, on our samples, we did some big lips, little lips, or a smile. So, I think what I'm going to do on mine this time is a smile. She's using that Sharpie. Using the Sharpie. Okay, I'll give it a little. Oh, you can That's like cute. That. Now, if you want to do the lips, what shape does that look like? Look, I'll turn it. Hmm, kind of looks like a heart to me. Just well, turn that's your mine. Canvas. Just turn your canvas. Don't worry about turning your brush. Turn your canvas and just make a heart. Okay, so this is going to dry just a little bit. We're going to come back and show you how to add some seaweed bubbles and finish it up. Jane's going to show us how to do the finishing touches with the paint before we do on our sample the outline. All right, I'm going to add a little seaweed just for fun. And you just turn your brush on the side, put it in the green, and just do some light strokes up. You could do it all over the place or just do a couple of little spots. Okay, they might look like a little cactus, but that's okay too. All right, does that look like seaweed? Perfect. Okay, then we're gonna do our bubbles. Our little fish bubbles. So again, if you Just don't have do white, you can do blue. Or yellow, I'm gonna throw a little yellow in there anyway. Uh -huh. All right. Texturing and highlighting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's just some little round bubbles. I'm gonna also add a little bit of blue. What do you think? A little bit of blue. Little, like little fish bubbles. Love it. Okay, guys. So, on your funky fish, and we want to see pictures of these. So, y'all, um, once they're dry, you'll have to show us. Um, finishing touches, Jane. Um, just on with a sharpie. They're just gonna go around the edge of the fish, just right? Check your sharpie. This is not totally dry, so I would wait maybe till this afternoon and come back and just outline your fish and it really makes it pop love it and it doesn't have to be perfect jane thank you so much for doing this funky fish with us today i know we miss seeing her in pioneer or lookout with all of her crafty ladies but we wanted to bring you guys a little taste of Sam at home, bring Jane to you. So Jane, thank you so much for doing this with us. And I know that you can't wait to get back to see the kids really soon. Can't wait to see everybody. Y'all have a great summer. Hey campers, today one of your crafts is to make syringe art. So I just wanna talk about what you have and then let you go do it. So you've got a bag that looks like this. It's got some paint in it, it's got a canvas, it's got some syringes, and it's got a trash bag. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your trash bag down so that your mama doesn't get mad or daddy or grandmother or whoever you're with doesn't get mad that you make, make a big mess. So then you're gonna take your canvas and you're gonna take your paints. You're gonna open your paints, they're taped together so just open those paints up and you're gonna take your syringes. You've got four syringes but you've only got three paints. That's just in case you need an extra syringe. You, all you're gonna do is take your syringe, put it in the paint, put your canvas down on the ground, and you're just gonna squirt that paint on your, on your canvas, and it's gonna be beautiful. I cannot wait to see them. Please send us your pictures so we can see them. Have a good day.